in uh, this tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, how to copy and paste UV maps from one object uh, to another. For example, um, say with this object, as is typical when you're modeling, you will have things like, for example, the bolt that you can see here. Um, this, this item gets made and then you don't make another you don't go ahead and make another separate bolt you just you know for the other side here you actually just copy and paste geometry from here to there right so <clears throat> and that's typical of modeling um, for example the the hub of the wheel on this side is is uh, pretty much just mirrored or copied on the other side there and uh, same with the, the bars that go around the, the wheel here they're just duplicates of each other so you know what is it maybe 80% of modeling is duplication copying and um, so that brings up the issue of UV mapping um, for example you would like to have uh, a nice specific UV map on this bolt so that you can put really good um, you know wear and tear textures and stuff onto it you know, when I'm modeling, the last thing on my mind is, is UV mapping. I, I leave that till when I texture. So, um, so you'd want to be able to, um, you know, make your object and have all the copied geometry all over the place. And then just come in at some point when you want to texture it and UV map it. And you just come in and select the bolt and do a UV map on this. And then you'd like to be able to go to all the other bolts that were copied all over the model and apply that same UV map to all, to all of them. And um, you can actually do that. Okay, it's very simple, and um, I think it's always been something that you could do in Lightwave. But I just never, I never knew about it until I discovered it just the other week, really. So. Um, this tutorial is to sort of show this uh, hidden aspect of Lightwave. Well, it was hidden to me, so I want to illustrate it. So, to uh, illustrate it, I've got uh, these objects here, which I basically took off that uh, model. So, so I'm going to UV map one of them and then apply that UV map to all the others. Okay, so um, to do that, I'm going to, just for the sake of simplicity, so that it's a little clearer when I do it, I'm, I'm going to um, separate this guy here, control X, and just put him into another layer there, control V. So, and then I'll, I'll uh, zoom in on, on him. So we're going to UV map this, this one here. So I'm in polygon mode, select, select him, come down to uh, texture, T for texture there and choose new and I'll just call it uh, ring and I'll make it a planar map and it'll be sub patched and it'll be uh, the axis will be on the Z in this case and I'll go create and there we have a UV map now for this to work what you have to do is you have to deselect first so I'm just hit the forward slash key to uh, deselect and then what you have to do is um, come up into the UV texture editor window that's what this is actually up here and uh, select the UV okay so you select the UV up here and you go to map and you come down to under UV texture under this menu here you'll see where it says more and in there see it says copy UVs and paste UVs so I think you know where this is going so I'll go copy UVs and they got copied okay I'll now um, come into the other layer where all the other ones were so all these ones are and I will uh, select them all so just group select them and then again under the same menu more paste UVs and there you can see that there's a UV up here and this UV actually represents all of them okay so if we uh, zoom in on 
these so we can see them okay um, you'll see that when I start selecting polygons here that they're all getting selected okay despite the fact that uh, you know you can see that uh, there are clearly uh, each one of them is sort of rotated differently they're all kind of because they were I think they were clone arrayed around and that they got rotated as they um, cloned around there um, so you can see that uh, even despite the fact that they're positioned differently and they're rotated differently the uh, UV map transferred over in one click okay which is pretty damn good if you think about it that's going to save me a lot of time in the future and um, it uh, seems to be very robust I could really distort these and in fact I'll demonstrate I'll just uh, control Z to take the UV maps off them and I'll just come in and I'll just um, grab I'll start I'll grab this one here and I'll, um, I'll go to a top view and I'll uh, modify and I'll stretch it and rotate let's rotate okay rotate it whatever um, I'll do the same to maybe this one down here I'll uh, stretch it that way this time and I'll rotate it that way I don't know what I'm doing I'm just uh, I just want to show you that it doesn't matter what you do with these things okay as long as the point order is the same and the geometry is essentially the same geometry um, when I come over and select them and then go um, and I'll change this back to a UV window and I go uh, map and more and paste the UV back it still gets pasted over and uh, you can still come in and it's still all perfectly okay here so um, that's really really super handy because you know not only do you often copy and paste geometry about but you also you know use that geometry differently when you copy it sometimes you just enlarge things or just change their shape uh, you know just to save time copying and pasting geometry is a big time saver right so so you often do that and um, and to be able to still copy the UV maps over onto it is is pretty great so I um, just wanted to bring this to anyone's attention who didn't yet like just like me who weren't aware that you could do this and it was just hidden in plain sight here under the um, copy UVs and paste UVs that pretty much says exactly what it's going to do and I think it's always been there I'm pretty sure this is not a new thing uh, it's just something I've never I've overlooked you know um, and I think a lot of other people have as well because when I went on the internet and did a search for can you copy and paste UVs in um, from one object to another in, in Lightwave this never came up so I'm pretty sure you know a lot of people don't know about this so I'm doing my part to let people know that it's uh, that you can do this okay and that's all uh, so thanks for watching and uh, farewell